Councillor Ford. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Sir, does it say anywhere in this report in front of us that you're spending $20,000? Uh, apparently not. I thought it was there, but it's not in the report itself. You thought it was there to spend $20,000, but it's not. Who's the one who looks at these reports before they hit? It's my responsibility, Councillor. Does it say anywhere that there's going to be a councillor and staff going on a trip to Milan? No, our... At the time the uh, report was written, uh, we hadn't advanced our planning far enough to specify exactly how we would participate. It was always imagined that somebody would go. So you don't think this is misleading the councillors to try to slip a free trip? Because that's what this is. When we don't know, there's no trip here. There's no amount of money here. I apologize to council if that's what's happened. Well, so if we, if we wouldn't have caught this or asked the proper question today, we, councillors, would have been blamed for supporting a free trip, which we didn't even know about. We didn't even, and I'm not tooting my own horn here, but I, I, like all the councillors, we look at the numbers pretty carefully, and there was no numbers to look for here. But as soon as it, we find out they're going and the media finds out, they're going to blame us for supporting a junket, which this is. And staff, you're saying, well, I, did, I made a mistake. There was never any intention to mislead uh, council or, or you, councillor, on, on this. Um, um, we, in our support for the Milan, we always envisioned somebody would need to go to, to make a proper uh, connection. Uh, being silent on that, I uh, was not intentional in any way. Okay. You know what, this is, this is a really, really a touchy issue, and I respect you. Thank you. But to say this wasn't intentional, that's very hard to believe. Councillor Ford, the, Councillor Ford, please. The staff answered okay. your question. Uh, well, Madam Speaker, so Madam Speaker, listen. Please don't make I didn't comments. Say, I didn't say any, that's my opinion. i the staff. Yeah. But you, when you, you can win a privilege all you want. Okay. Councillor McMahon. I'm sorry. Uh, I just feel that last comment was impugning the character of our hardworking, knowledgeable, uh, greatly experienced staff, and I would ask it to be retracted. Well, yeah. you know what? That's my personal opinion, and I won't retract okay. it when there's $20,000. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I will answer it. I'm no, answering it. No, Councillor Ford, I answer it. You don't answer it. Okay, there's a point of personal privilege by Councillor McMahon. And I, and I did put your time on hold, and I did ask you not to speak to staff in, in the tone that you did, and I'm asking you to retract those comments. Retracting? What am I retracting? Comments that you made. No, what, exactly he, what did I am retracting? He made... He deliberately not asking misled. Kirk, not John, just no, I'm you. not asking. You're asking me that you that the staff deliberately uh, um, did not uh, include in the uh, report I said, that he misled members I of said, council. Well, let me correct what Council I said. Ford, I'm asking you to apologize. You either retract. No, I'm not, go I'm not going to. Well, I'm asking because that's my personal opinion that the twenty thousand dollars should have been put in this report and should, and we should have been told that the councillors are going on a trip. And if that's my personal opinion of the staff misleading me, misleading us, that's my personal opinion. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Point of privilege, Councillor Grimes. Mr. Williams answered the question. He's one of the outstanding members of our public service. He said it was not intentional. You asked Councillor Ford to retract yes. the comments. And I'm going to extend again, ask to retract the comments again. Mr. Williams answered the, 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 the question fairly and honestly in my point of view, and I, you asked him to withdraw. I, I suggest he withdraws his comments on Mr. Williams. Yes, and I'm asking Councillor... But, Councillor uh, Ford, I am asking you to withdraw your, your comments. Councillor Ford, please, I'm not asking you again or I'm going to... 
Okay, I'm, then I'm going to ask you to leave the council chambers. Okay. I'm asking you to leave. Councillor Ford, all you have to do is retract your comments. I'm going to sit here and I'll be more than happy to have the council to kick me out before I be sticking up for the taxpayers of not telling them that there's a trip going on for $20,000 and not even a report. Council wants to kick me out. I want to report it all. And if they say to leave, I will leave. Councillor. Okay, Councillor Ford. Okay, no Councillor Ford, I'm asking you to, uh, to leave the council chambers. Hmm? I don't need a recorded vote. I am, I am the speaker, and I'm asking you to leave the council chambers. Yes, I was going to, to do a recess. Um, I'm having five five minute recess. Okay, members of council, meeting is now resumed. Okay. Okay, can I have a quorum call, please? Members, the voting panel is open. If you would uh, press one of the buttons, please, to indicate your presence in the chamber. Quorum call. Hmm? Mayor Tory, Councillor Mamaliti, Councillor Campbell, Councillor Ford, Councillor Fillion. No, no, we're not calling the roll. We're just calling members to vote. Members, the voting panel is open. Would you please press one of the buttons to indicate your presence in the chamber? Quorum call. Councillor Karagiannis, please. Madam Speaker, there is quorum present in the chamber. There are 33 members. Okay, Councillor Ford, Councillor Mamaliti, point of order. Madam Speaker, uh, I was listening to the debate earlier and I was listening to you um, and some others suggesting that Councillor Ford be, uh, in this case, probably escorted out. Uh, my understanding is that you're escorting a member of Council out for saying the following. I find it hard to believe. Well, Councillor Mamaliti, and, and, I, and, I, and I say this. Councillor Mamaliti, I, I made my ruling. I made my ruling. Um, Councillor Ford. Well, like I said, um, Madam Speaker, I said I respect Mike. I always have. What you're asking me to um, retract is I find it hard to believe that that wasn't in there. And that's exactly what I said. So I still say it's hard. I find it hard to believe. Now, if you think that's derogatory to him, maybe it's his staff, maybe it was somebody under, under him in his uh, office that made the mistake. I just find it hard to believe that $20,000 and a free trip wasn't in this report. Uh, Councillor Ford. So if you want me, before uh, we recess, I don't see what's wrong here. I asked you if you would retract your comment and, I, if, and if apologize to staff. Me. So my question to you is, are you gonna retract your comments and apologize to staff? If council, you're asking me to leave. If council wants me to leave over this, I want to record a vote. And if they kick me out, that's fine. 
It's not in the procedure. You need to get a recorded a vote. I have made a ruling on it. So, Councillor Ford, are you going to apologize? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You didn't follow the proper procedures. Okay. You didn't. I did. Councillor Ford, I followed the procedure. I asked you three times to please retract your comments and apologize. That's how it works. I know how it works. Are you going to retract your comments? You're going to apologize? Okay, then I'm asking you to leave, please. Sergeant of Arms. There's no point of order, Councillor Mamaliti. No. My ruling is not debatable. Okay, can I ask? You can't challenge the chair. Okay, so Councillor Mamaliti is challenging the chair. All in favor of holding the chair. Recorded vote. So a vote to uphold the chair. <laughs> Councillor DiGiorgio, please. Councillor Mahavik, please. Councillor Peruzza, please. James, can you wait, please? The ruling of the chair is upheld. The vote is 29 to 4. Councillor Mamaliti, point of order. I, um, I'm standing up uh, in defense of our voice uh, as individuals in this place. I believe that he's being kicked out. Uh, Councillor Mamaliti, I've I'll made be, the I'll ruling. Councillor Mamaliti, it's not that it's not that Councillor Ford made an opinion. Councillor Ford, Councillor Ford, address the staff as lying, and you do not treat staff that way. Oh, I'm sorry. Councillor McMahon. Councillor McMahon. Councillor uh, McMahon. No, my point of privilege was initially and still remains that Councillor Ford, I felt his comments impugned the character of one of our hardworking city staff. And he basically insinuated that they willingly, knowingly um, omitted information in their report. Um, trying to be duplicitous or whatever. It was an insinuation, it was impugning their character, and that's what I asked him to retract his comments. Thank you, Councillor oh, McMahon. No, but they just asked me again to speak. Thank you. Councillor Thompson.